welcome to bsc statistics students now in this class i explain project evaluation and review technique part in the network scheduling previously we have learned critical path method in the cpm generally the projects having the the time values are deterministic but whereas some particular projects like the research projects designing of a new mission etc will have not deterministic time time values so generally if you want to design a particular new mission how much time duration it it, it take it it takes uh, generally it cannot be uh, specified in a particular uh, scheduled time period if you complete if you want to complete that's if you give an instruction that uh, uh, it uh, finish it in one one month it, it may not be possible so that is the reason why so these are the time periods where exactly we cannot uh, uh, we cannot calculate we cannot uh, give some particular uh, uh time certain time periods so therefore time periods are not deterministic so in such case uh, in this particular uh, uh, these projects are going to be handled by the technique part project evaluation review technique that is in this particular part technique the the time periods are not deterministic are not deterministic the main objective in the analysis through part is to find out whether a job could be finished within a specified time that is we have to find out and what is the expected time period what is the expected time period to finish the project that we have, we have to calculate and that is by using the part we can calculate and we we assume that the expected time of any operation can never be determined exa exactly that is what uh, uh, the uh, the technique of pert right so if you see the definition if you see the definition the study of network analysis of a project to estimate the total project duration by using certain probabilities what we do here certain probability we use some kind of probability distribution a certain probability distribution and so that we estimate the total project duration and which is called uh, such kind of study study of the network analysis is nothing but uh, it is called project evaluation and review technique part hope you understand and then uh, we use generally three time periods three times optimistic time most likely time and pessimistic time optimistic time it is the shortest possible time in which the activity can be completed if everything goes well you see the terminology if everything goes well if everything goes right then uh, that particular activity will be finished in shortest possible time shortest time and that time is called optimistic time it is denoted by t not then most likely time so it is the estimate of the normal time of the activity when uh, the particular activity is going to be finished and it uh, assumes the normal delays so i have given a, uh, i i give an example uh, for example uh, 10 workers uh, are to are to be uh, finished a work in 10 days for example after uh, it, it it is it goes well on four days and then uh, after uh, in in fifth day three four workers only uh, attended to the work so therefore some kind of delay took place uh, in the completion of the work of the activity and such kind of normal delays are going to be considered here and so that uh, uh, it is uh, one particular estimation of the time normal time it is called most likely time it is denoted by tm in the graph it is represented the highest frequency okay and the pessimistic time the third time it is the longest time that an activity could take if everything goes wrong 
that is in the adverse condition so uh, it, it is nothing but if everything went wrong it is goes wrong obviously uh, obviously the time time is going to be uh, too much delay so that is a longest time the maximum time uh, the longest time it takes uh, so that, that such kind of time is not known as pessimistic time right these are the three time periods and the graph also you can e easily see and you can you can observe the graph the distribution graph optimistic most likely and pessimistic right t naught tm and tp this is you see here the graph of the uh, optimistic time most likely time the maximum frequency is going to be observed here pessimistic time tp t naught tm and tp right and then now now what are the calculations of pert it's very simple and uh, by using the beta distribution the, the active time follows the beta distribution you see here and so that uh, we calculate what is the expected time duration to complete the activity for each activity every activity and uh, what is the variance uh, of each activity in the uh, completion of the project uh, completion of the uh, one such active such an activity now you see here there are three particular time periods by using three time periods t naught tm and tp by using beta distribution the expected time of each activity is go, of the project is going to be uh, denoted by te t is going to be calculated by t naught plus 4 tm plus tp divided by 6 right and the variance of an activity it is going to be calculated by the formula sigma square is equal to tp minus t naught divided by 6 whole square this is called sigma square and uh, uh, the variance sigma e, sigma square e is going to be calculated for all critical activities and so that it is going to be find out by adding simple addition of the uh, variances. Okay, These are the expected time and variance of the activity is going to be calculated in the uh, path calculations. And one more thing it is going to be also uh, required to know, estimation of project completion time or probability of completing the project by schedule time. One is estimation of project completion time. Another one is a probability. That both are to be calculated with the help of the normal distribution. By taking the values, first one, TS. TS is the schedule time period. Completion of the project by the schedule time. It is, if you denote with TS, and uh, expected completion time of the project by TE. If you if you consider these two particular time periods, the schedule time, that is, uh, for example, a company or an organization have given this is the time period, uh, uh, you please completely, you, you please complete this particular project. A specified, a specific time, a schedule time. This is the time, uh, probably, you please complete this particular project. And expect, expected uh, completion time of the project uh, BTE, this is going to be considered uh, uh, like it's going to be calculated with the help of the uh, calculations uh, just now I have explained uh, TE, that is uh, T0 plus 4 TM plus T, uh, uh, TP divided by 6 whole, uh, 6, that is the value of the uh, uh, TE by using that uh, by uh, calculating uh, um, in the using the network diagram and then uh, as usual calculation of the uh, forward pass and backward pass, pass calculations and uh, uh, taking the values of the uh, uh, earliest times and latest times so that uh, we can calculate the that particular uh, uh, expect this is uh, expected uh, completion time of the project the end time the uh, the completion of the uh, completion time of the project usually we calculate in cpm right that same thing it is te ts is specified by the company for example company or organization or individual whatever it may be right and uh, the, now the probability of completing the project by schedule time ts is given by probability of z less than or equal to ts minus te divided by sigma e so therefore, probability of z less than or equal to ts minus te divided by sigma e, it is going to be calculated by the with the values of ts, te, and sigma e. We calculate this value. For example, this is 1.4. Uh, 
And then jet lesson, probability of jet lesson equal to 1.4 is calculated from the standard normal distribution tables. Areas of the standard normal distribution tables, that is probability. And where uh, jet is equal to standard normal variate, jet is equal to Ts minus Te by sigma e. This is one such calculation. Another calculation, this is a probability, calculation of probability of completing the uh, uh, project by schedule time, in the schedule time. And second one, if the probability is given, then we can also calculate the, uh, we can also calculate the schedule time. Probability is given, how to calculate schedule time? Schedule time is given and how to calculate the probability. These are the two kinds of uh, um, uh, values, uh, two kinds of calculations we can uh, calculate in the uh, PERT calculations. Project evaluation review technique. This is what uh, a kind of technique part project evaluation review technique hope you understand thank you